Angelica, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. I trust you'll understand the reference to another Scottish tragedy without my having a name to play. They think me Macbeth. Ambition is my folly. I'm a polymath. A pain in the ass. A massive pain. Madison is Banquo. Jefferson's Macduff. And Burnham Wood is Congress on its way to Dunsany. And there you are an ocean away. Do you have to live an ocean away? Thoughts of you subside, then I get another letter, and I cannot put the notion away. Take a break. I'm on my way. There's a little surprise before supper, and it cannot wait. I'll be there in just a minute. Save my plate. Alexander. Okay, okay. Your son is nine years old today. He has something he'd like to say. He's been practicing all day. Philip, take it away. Daddy, daddy, look. My name is Philip. I am a poet. I wrote this poem just to show it. And I just turned nine. You can write rhymes, but you can't write mine. What? I practice French and play piano with my mother. Uh -huh. I have a sister, but I want a little brother. Okay. My daddy's trying to start America's bank. Then the twat cut the side. Take a break. Hey, our kid is pretty great. Run away with us for the summer. Let's go upstate. I've got so much on my plate. We can all go stay with my father. There's a lake I know in a nearby park. I'd love to go. You and I can go when the night gets dark. I will try to get away. My dearest Alexander, you must get through to Jefferson. Sit down with him and compromise. Don't stop till you agree. Your favorite older sister, Angelica, reminds you there's someone in your corner all the way across the sea. In a letter I received from you two weeks ago, I noticed a comma in the middle of a phrase. It changed the meaning. Did you intend this? One stroke and you've consumed my waking days. It says, My, my dearest Angelica, Angelica, with the comma after dearest. You've written my, my dearest Angelica. Angelica. Anyway, all this to say, I'm coming home this summer at my sister's invitation. I'll be there with your family if you make your way upstate. I know you're very busy, I know your work's important, but I'm crossing the ocean and I just can't wait. You won't be an ocean away, you'll only be a moment away. Angelica's arriving today. <laughs> Angelica, Eliza, the Skyler sisters. Alexander, congratulations. You have invented a new kind of stupid, a damage you can never undo kind of stupid, and open all the cages in the zoo kind of stupid. Truly, you didn't think this through kind of stupid. Let's review. You took a rumor, a few, maybe two people knew, and refuted it by sharing an affair of which no one has accused you. I begged you to take a break, you refused to. So scared of what your enemies will do to you. You're the only enemy you ever seem to lose to. You know what Jefferson can do what he wants? He doesn't dignify schoolyard taunts with a response. So yeah, congratulations. You've redefined your legacy, congratulations. It was an act of political sacrifice. Sacrifice? I languished in a loveless marriage in London. I lived only to read your letters. I look at you and think, God, what have we done with our lives and what did it get us? That doesn't wipe the tears or the years away, but I'm back in the city and I'm here to stay. And you know what I'm here to do? I'm not here for you. I know my sister.
congratulations for the rest of your life. Every sacrifice you make is for my sister. Give her the best life. Congratulations. Congratulations.